This is Alan Dupree from MacDAC Engineering. I want to look at lathe entry today. We're just going to bring in a DWG file. So if I go file open, lathe.dwg, click OK, here's my part. I can fit it to the screen and so I get an idea of the shape of it. First thing I want to do is define my stock. Just come over here, tool settings, stock setup, stock, properties. And all I need to do is select two points, so I just click it here, and I can click the intersection of here and here, and it defines my stock. And what I could do at this point is I could give it some extra stock if I want. 3.5 is my actual diameter. You can see the uh, stock move. And I could say it's um, 3.75 long, adding a little bit. There it is off the back, so I have one inch here. Click OK, and I want to add my chuck jaws. I go to Properties, and I can come over here. It's going to grip automatically on the OD of the stock, gripping a half inch from the end. I click OK, click OK. I'm all set to go, and you can see my uh, chuck jaws and my part. Ah, maybe I want some stock in the front here. I can open up this anytime I want. Go to Stock. Go in here, go to properties, and I have a button here, use margins, I really like. I can come in here and just go, uh, give me 20 thousandths of stock on the face. And I click OK, and I have stock right here on the face, you can see. So the first thing I want to do is face off the part. So I go to toolpath, I go to the face, click OK. First thing that comes up is particular tools I could use. I'm going to use this type of tool for facing. I could put the tool number, say it's in turret 2, station 2, offset number 2. Pick my tool, face, I'm using the stock as my boundaries, and I want to do a rough cut and a finish cut, starting 100 thousandths off the OD of the part. So I just click OK and it's done. So right now I have a tool path that looks like this. Right now I can turn on the holder, and I'm pretty much done. Now I want to rough this out, so I just go toolpath, rough, as simple as clicking partial, click where you want the tool to start, click where you want it to end, I want to go off the piece, so I'm going to click OK, and I'm going to use the same tool for this, we'll change it after just to show we can, so I want to be on the right, lead in lead out what I'm going to do is extend off the end of the piece and I'll go 0.375 eighth inch away from this, the chuck click OK I'm going to enable stock recognition click OK and you can see it rough the entire part out leaving ten thousandths on everything and you notice it did not cut in here because I have it turned on not to do undercuts so you don't have to draw lines to stop it from going in. But let's say I did want to machine in here. So I can just come in anytime. I can just double click it. Come in here, pick a new tool. So let's say we pick something like this. Come over here. And what I want to do is turn on my plunge parameters. I turn that on. I'm going to turn off the clearance angles. Let it figure it out. And also my lead in, lead out, I'm going to put on automatic. Click OK. Click OK, Regen, and now my toolpath has changed with a new tool and a new way of uh, cutting my part. And you can see it roughed it all out. Next thing I want to do is center drill. I simply go toolpath, drill, drills come up. I'll just use a spot drill, say a half inch spot drill. I'll come in here and we can just put a depth in, minus 0.2 and uh, pretty much all set. Click OK and there's my spot drill. Next thing I want to do is drill half inch hole. I go toolpath, drill, and I can just come down here, drag my mouse down, pick a half inch drill, simply click the back of the part, add tip compensation, and I'll add an eighth of an inch. Click OK. Now I want to bore this out right here. Simply go toolpath, rough, partial. Click where I want to start. 
click where I want to end. Click done. I could slide down and you can see boring bars popped up. Had a half inch hole, maybe a three eighths boring bar will fit. Go to roughing. And I'm going to do a finish pass. I can just turn it on. So it's going to rough it with the same tool, come back and do a finish pass. For the heck of it, it's easy. I'm going to put it on, take two finish passes to take the spring out of the tool. I click OK. Um, remaining stock. Nothing really to set. I click OK. And let's see what happens. Here's my first pass, my second pass. And you can see everything's cleaned up. Now I want to do a finish pass here, maybe with another tool. So the first thing I want to do is go to Toolpath. I want to go to Finish, Partial. I want to start from here. I want to end here. Done. And I could select the tool from a library, or if I right click, I can create a new tool. Very simple, I go General Turning. I can select a insert if I'd like, 35 degree, or I can select the catalog and I can grab, let's say, uh, kind of metal lathe tools. Click save and get insert. And here's a bunch of inserts. So it's a VNMG. Let's say 431. Click OK. My insert set. I can grab a holder. I can do the same thing here. Select from a catalog. Kind of metal lathe tools, click OK, get a holder, and you can select one here, click OK, and I could do two finish passes if I'd like. I could just put it on two at five thou. I want to lead off the piece by uh, point, say 375, click OK. I want to plunge into the part. You do not use the clearance. Click OK, click OK, and now I have a finish pass and another finish pass. So I select all. I can go to back plot. It opens it up. Verification. And I'm just going to go to back plot. And I can hit run, slow it down, get an idea of what's going on. There's my two passes. Could also go to verify, that's more in lathe, not a lathe entry. It'll do a similar thing, but you can see the stock being removed. I can put it on, use a solid stock, so you get an idea of what's actually taking place. You can zoom in. Everything I need to do. Speed it up. About to go on the outside now. I'm going to put it on the other side. So before I even send it to the machine, I know exactly what it's doing. Now I'll get out of here, go back to lathe, and the only thing I have to really do is cut it off. So toolpath, I'm going to go to cut off. It says select a boundary point. I really want to go to here. I could pick a tool quarter inch wide, eighth inch wide. You have different ones, you can change them on the fly. So let's say we start off with an eighth inch wide. Diameters. Put zero. And let's take a look at the tool path. Done. That's an example of lathe. Hope you enjoyed it.